I'm Pete Brangard. I'm the creator and executive producer of uh, the Cartoon Network series Uncle Grandpa. Like all dangerous stuff you should never do as a child. He would do with us. So I was like, I got it. He was that kind of cartoon character. And he also, I didn't, I never met my grandparents. But my parents are older. I'm the youngest of five children. Uh, and uh, pretty flattered and um, and honored to be invited. I met uh, Jose at uh, uh, ANSI in France. I feel great. It's uh, absolutely beautiful town. Cornavaca is gorgeous, lush, gorgeous town. Free beer, animation, cartoons, birds. I love Mexico. Mexico is a beautiful country, and it's it's great. I'm just excited for um, for uh, the animation industry in Mexico. I'm excited that this festival exists and and is happening. Um, I think it's a really positive thing for uh, uh, world animation. Uh, I grew up in New York. I always loved uh, making animation and, uh, and drawing. Um, I wanted to go to CalArts, got into CalArts, and then I um, sort of worked in the animation industry. I've worked on such shows as uh, Futurama, uh, Chowder, Adventure Time, Flapjack. Um, Secret, I'm the, also the creator of Secret Mountain Fort Awesome. Uh, I'm Uncle Grandpa, and um, I'm living a dream. I'm living my dream of working in animation and uh, being an artist. You can do anything. Cartoons? To me, animation to me is the art form of the impossible. That's the thing. You can do the impossible. You can do anything. There's nothing that limits, limits you. It's only what limits you is how you put your brain and think. I sort of wanted to just tell my story and be inspirational. Um, I sort of grew up in New York in lower middle class and uh, I always wanted to do animation and I just think that I wanted to present a, uh, a conference that gave inspiration that anybody can be where I'm at, can do what I do. Uh, it just takes a lot of hard work and uh, to just always dream and believe in yourself and, um, and create, be a creator, be, be an artist. I think that a lot of people give up drawing at an early age because they don't feel like they're naturally good at it. And I do think that there is a such thing as natural talent. Some people have a little bit more natural ability or coordination early on. But I believe that anyone can do it. I believe that it's like an instrument. It's like learning guitar. It's like learning the violin. Really nice. Can I draw him too on here? Yeah. It takes hundreds and thousands of hours to get good at something like that. And you have to do that. You have to train, you have to practice, you have to do exercise, you have to draw from life. You have to look at the world around you and you have to, um, you have to draw it and interpret it through your own brain and your own unique vision of, of what the world looks like. And, and practice and practice and practice and over and over again. And I feel like you, you will get better, you will grow, you will, you will be able to do it if, if you put in the time and the effort. You know, I came in and um, I didn't know what to expect. I really didn't. I, I mean, I, I looked up Cornavaca on the internet a little and, and got to see what it would look like. And it looked really beautiful. And I was excited to come, but but it, there's a great energy. A lot of young people, um, a lot of people that inspire to be an artist, to inspire to work in animation and, and draw and paint and create. Um, and it's really inspirational for me. You know, it's and it's nice to come and meet fans of the show, people that knew my work. Hey, how's it going? What's your name again? Uh, John. John. One for one. one is, uh, What's your name, buddy? I mean, I honestly didn't know what to expect. I didn't know if, if people were even going to know uh, who I was. But uh, it, shows, it shows you that on how far reaching animation is and storytelling is. And uh, I know that I did hear from Cartoon Network that we, we do well in Latin America and Mexico. And uh, it was just really touching. And one girl told me a story of, um, that she has a, a heart condition, a heart illness. 
and she would watch Uncle Grandpa when she was recovering and it made her feel better, made her happier and, and not think about her illness as much. And I mean, that is that's just really moving, you know, it's very, very touching.